Historic Kennett Square in Chester County, Pennsylvania, is touted as the mushroom capital of the world, bringing in about $2.7 billion to the local economy each year. And according to the latest USDA Census of Agriculture, Pennsylvania-grown mushrooms generated $530 million in 2012 alone. I like to be in the farm, I like to grow mushrooms and it's part of my life. Jose Daniel Batron is owner of Mazda Mushrooms in Chester County. For nearly 20 years, he's been producing thousands of boxes of mushrooms. Beltran's farm operation isn't your typical farm. The mushrooms are planted in these houses where processing is very unique. We, we get the, the house ready, uh, we get empty, we clean out, we wash all the inside out. We use the steam to sterilize and uh, we get the compost in and we pasteurize the compost for about two weeks. And after that, we put the seed, the, uh, the spawn, and start the process there. The day one up to the harvest time is about 50, 52 days. And it's essential, of course, to keep the mushroom houses clean and sanitized. And water quality practices are just as important. For the water, it has, it has been good, it has been successful for us. It's been great for our, our facility here, it's been good. That's because the USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service, or NRCS, in partnership with the Chester County Conservation District, have helped Patron to install water quality practices to avoid any wastewater runoff generated from the mushroom houses. These practices are proven to be a major impact for both the Mazda mushroom business and the environment. He did a number of things on here uh, on this farm, putting in BMPs to collect the wastewater. He put in uh, drains inside the mushroom house to collect the wastewater as well as the breezeway. Uh, from those drains, it gets piped to a uh, pump tank and from that pump tank to a large storage facility. To collect all the water from the farm, it goes to the right place and keep water sources clean where away from the streams, away from the wells, so that would help us to keep our, our farm on a good condition. So that would help us because our, our farm needs to be very clean to be able to produce healthy mushrooms. We work to provide technical and financial assistance to agricultural landowners and producers to benefit water quality, um, wildlife habitat, soil quality, soil conservation. Beltran is grateful for the assistance. They're really good technicians and they're really responsible for what they provide, what they do for us, they're really good on that. Well, mushrooms are all grown inside, so there's not soil running off, but they do use a lot of wash water, and that wash water has nutrients in it from compost, which contains manure and other organic compounds. We collect that wastewater that runs off of those mushroom farms. Eventually it comes out of the houses and into the ground. Um, if we don't put any controls in, it could run into surface water or a contaminate groundwater. So what we're doing is collecting that water and putting it into a containment system and then potentially irrigating it on a uh, vegetated treatment area or holding it, having it hauled away to a, a wastewater treatment plant. Mushroom farming in Chester County is strong and steady. A lot of companies here and a lot of companies that buy also and repackers buy and sell here locally. A little over 100 years ago, people started growing mushrooms here. Um, and today it has expanded to the point where in Chester County, uh, over 40% of the mushrooms in the country are grown here. Uh, in Pennsylvania, about 60% of the mushrooms in the country are grown. And for Beltran, he's planning on continuing this journey for quite some time. I mean, you most like it to stay in it. This is the whole life. Kim Benton, United States Department of Agriculture, Natural Resources Conservation Service.